Hello there. So a group of traffic-blocking eco-loons believe they are now in charge of traffic control. The police are becoming more and more irrelevant because they facilitate eco-loons stopping traffic with ambulances and fire engines stuck in roadblocks with injury and death being the potential outcome. And the eco-loons who cause this say they were directing emergency traffic around the blockages. They even claim they have a blue light policy, an obviously failed policy because ambulances and fire engines were blocked. They use superglue and chains to ensure they can't be moved, so the best route for the emergency services is blocked because the authorities are not allowed to harm a hair on the protesters' heads, let alone removal actions that would strip skin off their hands or any other part of their offensive anatomies. Those eco-loons gaslight us with the claim that while they block the emergency services in the first place, they are the ones that can get the blue lights around that blockage. But they are the ones blocking the roads, and how do they know that their actions haven't caused a sudden, impromptu rat run to develop that blocks the very route they say is clear for emergency services? They don't know. Should another Grenfell Tower type incident occur near the protests? At the first hint of blue lights, the police should be ripping them off the road. Those who put the lives of others in danger and do it on purpose must be dealt with quickly and efficiently. In fact, by not clearing the road quickly, the police are also potentially endangering lives. Don't believe these eco-loons. Theirs are not peaceful protests. They are a potential death sentence for those unfortunate enough to need immediate help from the emergency services.